Happy Thanksgiving, boys and girls. This week, we are going to finally bow some notes beyond our open strings. And this week especially, it'll just be open D and the first finger on D, which is E. We are also going to learn our open G, how to read it on the staff. It's so far below the staff, staff extenders need to be used and we call those ledger lines. But let's get back to D and the first finger on the D, E. Let's warm up with a quick pizzicato echo game and then we'll do it again with our bow. Here we go. Instruments up, good holding position, have your shoulder rest on just right, chin on the tailpiece, nose pointed down the strings, good left hand position, get that first finger ready for E on the D string. Good pizzicato position. Let's pizzicato four open Ds. I play, you play. One, two, here I go. D, 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 D. D, 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 D. D, 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 D. D, 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 D. Good. So far, so good. Very easy. Now, place your first finger on the D. And I'm testing my note. I want to make sure I play in tune. Make sure your finger's on your tape marker. Otherwise, just match your pitch to what you hear on the video here. Here's four E's. Again, first finger on the D string. Let's see if I can do a close-up shot here. There it is. First finger on the D. All right, get back to my position. E, two, I play, you play, here I go. E, 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 E. E. And there we go. Now, let's do that same series of exercises with the bow, arco. So, instruments up. Get your best bow hold right here. Bent thumb right between the frog and the bow grip. Wrap those fingers around. Captain hook. Little birdie jumping on the fence. Place the bow in lane two. Rock and roll in lane two. And settle your bow on the D string. Let's play four open Ds. One two, ready, go. Now, if your E sounds something like this with your bow, that simply means that you're not putting the weight of the finger, the meat of the finger, into the string and touching the fingerboard. We want to get that finger all the way down into the fingerboard. If it's just on top of the fingerboard, we'll get that squeaky sound. And uh, sometimes folks call that a squeak party. <laughs> so, first finger, let the weight of the finger get down into the string. I often like to think of my fingerboard as some rubber, so just squeeze it in there and then we can do that. All right, D and E, Echo Games. Repeat this video as often as needed. <laughs> 